There's a deep drive to left field. Get up, ball. Get out of here. And we gone. The Blue Jays' magic number is down to four to secure a playoff spot after a 7-1 win Sunday. Tonight, they start their final home series of the regular season against the Yankees. Canada's only NBA team gearing up for a new season. The Toronto Raptors wrapping up media day in Toronto before jetting out to Victoria for training camp this week, where they have pretty much the main core from last season still intact, but have added a few new players. Before signing here, I ask uh, Marc Gasol, uh, Calderon, Sergio. Sergio was a big part of the process. The Toronto Raptors signed Juancho Hernan Gomez to a one-year fully guaranteed contract back in August. He spoke to the media for the first time today in Toronto as a Raptor, sharing the conversations he had with former players and coaches about joining the team. And yes, if you're not a basketball fan but watch movies on Netflix, you may recognize him as Bo Cruz from the movie Hustle. This is all for you, pal. It's for us. Okay, it's for us. It was a good time. Uh, I never expect to be in a movie. I never dreamed to be an actor. The Raptors were eliminated in the first round of the playoffs in an extremely physical series against the Philadelphia 76ers. But it's a new season and we all know the drill. All the teams start with the same record and hope to hoist the Larry O'Brien trophy when the year is over. We compete to win. We expect to win. And it doesn't matter what phase we are as a team. Are we good enough to win a championship? I don't, I don't know that what, what they're yet. Um, are we good enough to grow to make a jump? I think so. All-star and NBA champ Fred Van Vliet enters the season eligible for a contract extension. He inked a four-year deal back in 2020. I mean, I'll just say that I, I love being a Raptor. Um, I have a great relationship with management, ownership, coaching staff. Like, there's nothing I could really ever complain about, you know, being on this team. But um, I'm definitely not going to speak on contractual things, you know, publicly, so you guys will know when it's time to know. A number of players on the team made sure to take a mental break from the game, whether it was going to Europe or just taking a break from social media. But what did the man of so many words, OG Ananobi, do? Hey, OG, Lindsay from City News Toronto. What was the most enjoyable thing you did this summer that was not basketball related? Um, most enjoyable thing? Uh, I don't know. Probably so just, good, yeah, I had a good summer, but the most enjoyable thing, I don't know. I guess reading a book. What or something. book? I have no book I read. I don't know. I'll say going up for a walk. Okay. Going on a nice walks. You yeah, have good views, watch the sunset, stuff like that. Sounds like a good time. It was fun. There you have it. If you like books and walks, you could be OG's best friend. And if you live in Edmonton or Montreal, you could see him play in person. On October 2nd, the Raptors will be playing a preseason game in Edmonton. Then on October 14th, they're in Montreal. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.